<laughs> Jesus is Lord and Savior over all. In our homes, is the head of our homes. The unseen guest at every meal. The silent listener to every conversation. A welcome guest anytime, any day. God gave us grace in homes, homes where the Bible is loved and taught, homes where the master has will is sought, homes crowned with beauty your love has wrought. God gave us grace in homes, God gave us grace in homes. In keeping the marriage, we have been on communication. There's much to say on it, but I just want to add this and call it a day for this morning. We have been on since 4.30, so just take a break. In this clip, we want to say that Ecclesiastes chapter number 3, verse 7, says there is a time for everything. There is a time to keep silence and a time to speak. And we have mentioned them in passing in the previous clips where we said the husband and the wife come see you want to make a conversation, you don't want to talk, we say leave it alone. That is a time to keep silence. When I say I beg, I leave you, you just use wisdom. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But he's not responding. I, I've set the table, the food. But I am a bit, I need to rest. Let me just go and rest. I need some rest. Rest, no be lie. You go sleep, no be lie. Rest, no be lie. What have you done? Just keeping silence. But not saying, I leave you. Yeah, your problem. Stay there. You don't want to talk, don't talk. <laughs> You've only worsened the situation. You use wisdom. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Doesn't want to speak, doesn't want to speak. Leave it alone. In the last business and clip, we said encouraging. We said most times we'd have told them, don't do this, don't do that. Don't do this, don't do that. They'll do it. When they come back, they'll say, I think I told you. Mm -mm. It's a time to keep silent. Silent on the fact of, Shebi, I told you, don't do it, don't do it. You are silent on it. It's obvious now. <laughs> and when you are silent, you will see. Sometimes when I'm quiet like that and I don't talk, I tell someone, I say, ah, but you told me. <laughs> and you said this thing, no. Or if it is me that was at fault, and he told me, and I, I, I said, ah, hey, but you said this to you, know, and it is exactly like you said it. You see, the same thing that you want to say had been said by the person you even want to say, I told you, and he would say, ah, but you told me. So let us learn that there's a time to keep silence and a time to keep speak. That boy had a problem. The child has a problem in school. It's not the time to begin to talk, talk, talk. The first thing is, how do we solve this problem? How do we remedy this situation? After the remedy, we can begin. So there's a time to speak and a time to keep silence. A time to keep speak and a time to keep silence. I will leave it at that. So apply wisdom. It's not everything you talk. It's not everything you mention. For example, women too that have problems with the husband and the in-laws. The husband already knows that he has this problem with the family. Don't aggravate it. Don't speak about it. Be silent. That way you save yourself. But when you want to do otherwise, we defend his family. The same way you too. The man too. You don't every time your family is. Nobody wants his family to be spoken of here. Your sister is this. Your mother is this. Your brother is this. It's a problem. It is obvious. But you keep silent. There's a time. Not that you won't talk. There's a time you will talk. You now see that those same things that would have been a problem at that time, you will talk about it. You say, ah, eh? That your sister not be here. You will talk about it and you will laugh. It will become a laughing issue. You understand? You know, you laugh about it. You still talk about it, but there's a time. And when that time is right, all the yabis where you won't yab before, you will feel stiffy yabba, but it will be taken in good faith. You will laugh over it. But if you just say, when the thing they hot, 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 they say, hey, hey, your brother did this, your sister did this, your wife did this, your mother did this, your father did this. Ah, you don't start trouble. Baban la trouble. Baban la trouble. There is a man that is always bantering his wife. What is the problem? He said, I can't take anything from her. I can't take anything from her. Take anything from her. But she must not talk bad about my family. She must not abuse my family. I said to her, you safe. He has told you several. Leave his family alone. Why, where did the family come inside this matter now? They carry the family and put inside. Even if they are the cause, just leave them one corner. There's a time to speak, a time to be silenced. 
Then he acquired you bring him. He will just batter you very well. So all this bantering we are talking about, if we do that which is right, it will not come in. Of course, there is the one that is not excessive. The man will say, I don't know why I did it. Devil don't enter. Demon day inside. Then you need to pray about it. You need to pray about it. Because if he's not mm, seeing you mm. as a human being, he's seeing that he's seeing an animal. Of course, you treat you as an animal and beat you like an animal. But even animals, we don't beat animals. We don't beat animals. This morning at the break I took is to go and feed goats and feed the chickens. What do we need the goat for? What do we how much meat is there? But the pleasure of, you know, sometimes we sit outside, we are eating, and look at chickens, we just, we just throw rice for them. Throw, you know? You watch them, you know, just I've done that this morning before I continued. Why? Because we don't keep animals and not treat them well. We treat them well. So whatever it is, give them something. Be nice to them. So not to talk of your own spouse, a husband or a wife. So there is a danger, a time to speak and a time not to speak. I need to stop here. I'll bring another one later, later on speech. We have so many, so many, so many, so many. Sweet to hear. Speak a little, speaking too much. <laughs> May the Lord help us. God give us grace and homes. Homes where the Bible is sought and preached. Homes crowned with beauty your love has wrought. Homes that are free from the blight of wrong. God give us grace and homes. God give us grace and homes. Simple principles, but if we apply them, it will go a long way. But of course, you may be there too. You may say, You have done all, you have done all, but my home is still in problem. I'm trying, but the man I try, don't give up. There is an enemy somewhere. Don't give up. See the enemy, don't see your spouse. See the enemy, don't see the child. Wrestle that child from the hand of the enemy. Wrestle that husband. Wrestle that wife. But don't give up on the marriage. Don't give up on your spouse. In the place of prayer, there is nothing. There is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God cannot do. My God cannot do. My God cannot do nothing God cannot do. So this morning we have said, spoken on the power of the speech, the power in communication, the importance of communication, when you speak, when not to speak, power and silence, and how you can use the words to encourage. We need to stop here for this morning. We've been on since 4 a.m. Go to the YouTube. You see a lot of video clips there. We are loading them for you. Edify your home, build your home, fight for your marriage. Don't let the enemy come in. Don't say, I beg, I can make it, I can this, I can that, I can this. I saw a young girl the other day. I was just looking at her. You know, something happened, and she was just like, be, 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 be. I just smiled. I was just smiling and looking at her. I said, At the end of the day, it's your family. It's family that matters. I preached to her, but I didn't preach too many words. I just kept smiling. I said, if, At the end of the day, what matters is your family. What matters is your family. What matters is your family is family. No matter what. At the end of the day, when the chips are down, the family, the family, the family. Let's maintain the family. As we are copying the foreigners, copying those things, let's copy that which is good and throw away those things that are not good. I was telling you the story of one of our foremost mothers. She just had a bad day. I'm not calling any name. But the story said... The husband had a mistake in the office, and the girl was now blackmailing him. When she got to know, she didn't say, I will divorce you, I leave you, I this, I that, you are cheating on me. What did she do? <laughs> she went to the police, arranged, and stopped it. And to today, to tomorrow, she's with her husband. The other day, when she was given a, 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 an achievement, world recog recognized world all over, the, for the very first time, I think, I believe, because her husband had not been showing. She showed her husband. She said, this is my husband. I've been away from some time. He has not been seeing me. He said, let him come and see. How am I doing? How am I this? At the end of the day, when the chips are down, the family it is it. The family is it. The family is it. And don't forget your days of small beginning. 
Don't forget that woman you labored with. They we bring clips. We are just starting. So many clips. Some of you forget we come for. Don't forget. Keep up. Keep it up. God bless you. Have a very nice day. This is our YouTube channel under the banner of account. On Facebook, we have five pages. Some Facebook have already given us five over five. You go there and be encouraged and be strengthened. I didn't even know they rate, rate pages. When we sat there, they said, ah, one day post this thing. Facebook now picture, only picture. As if you don't get any picture to post. In fact, for a very, very, very long time. Even my family didn't know that I was on Facebook. For years, I had an account. <laughs> Facebook even tired for me for one time. They'll bring this like. I won't like anybody. Like, I won't like. As I said, they say, ah. Banner like herself. <laughs> Banner like herself. Not no picture, nothing. I was just watching. Then sometimes when I speak to my family, they do say, they say, Are you on Facebook? Mm, quiet. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> but now, uh, you go beg me to stop now. I mean they beg myself to stop now. now. <laughs> because there is a time for everything. Time for everything. And when I came on this, uh, his pictures, they are posting a picture. I say, me, Facebook, I know they post picture. I go bombard them with the word of God. Bombard them. Bombard them. Bombard them. Bombard them. That's why I'm saying, partner with us. We want to begin to boost our pages. I don't like when I, I'm scrolling YouTube, I'm seeing a lot of naked, naked, naked. We go bombard them. Partner with us. Partner with us. We want to boost the pages. I'm not boosting now. Even Facebook is giving me credit to boost pages. I've not started because I'm looking for partners to join with me. Will boost the messages. So when they see one naked picture, they will see one message. They see two naked picture, they will see message. Jesus is Lord. We are here to make friends for Jesus and to encourage and to build you. God bless you. I must go now. Thank you. <laughs> Happy day to you.